Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brendan Mushi, and today I'm making a video talking about what is the best way to practice your execution in fighting games and in this example in Guilty Gear. Um, so it kind of depends on where you are in your execution. Um, so a lot of times when people think of practicing execution, they think of going to a combo challenge, uh, which is where we're currently at right now. And so um, the thing with the uh, combo challenge is, is that, in my opinion, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a challenge. The idea of the combo challenge is to challenge where you're currently at. Um, so in terms of your execution, depending on where you're at, the one rule of thumb you want to go by is um, the rule of 10. So for example, what I would recommend is sure, you know, go to the combo trial and start at the very beginning. And what you'll see here is that it starts off with just very simple stuff like special moves. So Johnny's glitter is gold, where he throws the coin toss, is coursing forward heavy slash, right? Now for me, and anybody who's been playing fighting games for a substantial amount of time, this is very basic and really easy. It might not be easy for you, and that's fine if it's not. It, you, it wasn't for everybody. There was definitely a point in my life where I could not do a quarter circle and save my life. <laughs> and plenty of people who are amazing players now, I've seen them not be able to throw quarter circles before. So it doesn't matter where you're at, every, everybody is at their own individual spot. Now, back to what I was saying before with the 10 times in a row. If you couldn't throw um, the coin, if you couldn't do this, 10 times in a row, then that means you need to practice it. Um, there's really not much of a point in you going, say I'm just, say I messed this up, like, oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. I, <clears throat> oh, I keep messing it up. Oh, there it is. There's no point in you really moving on right there. Um, just because the game said success, you should continue to keep working on this until it's fundamental. You want to use the term, you know, 10 times in a row. I was dropping that and I was like, yo, am I some kind of a scrub right now for dropping that? <clears throat> Don't take offense to that if you can't do it. I'm just making fun of myself. Uh, but no, it's because I ran out of coins with Johnny. And when he doesn't have coins, he can't do it anymore. Um, so you would do that 10 times in a row. And then what you would do is you would uh, you'd move on um, to the next thing. So, okay. Core circle back K. Simple special move. It's got to be like this. You know, maybe you mess up one time, like, oh, fuck, I didn't get it. That's still fine. But if, if it generally looks like this, maybe you mess up once, and it looks like this, then you're cool. I think you should you should move on. And um, that's how you want to, that's, that's basically how you want to start. So that's the mentality you want to have, is sure, go to the combo challenge in whatever game you're playing and challenge yourself, but when you get stuck on something, don't just try to get that one thing to, to work once. Like, don't try to get that challenge completed one time and then just move on like you didn't just mess that up 6,000 times in a row. Uh, now as far as specific advice for your actual execution, like as far as specifically what you can do, um, now I know there's a lot of different controllers out there that people use. Maybe you use a pad, maybe you use a fight stick, maybe you use a hitbox, maybe you use a keyboard. I don't care what you use. Um, or you use a Guitar Hero controller. I, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, man. But, um, regardless of whatever you use, um, <clears throat> there, I think there are some fundamental rules that generally apply. Um, so there's two, there's two parts to execution. And, uh, the two parts that I would say is that there's actually, um, physically executing the move properly. So there's correct inputs. So your input's actually being flush and correct with no mistakes, meaning that if the move, if it says move forward, you're not hitting up forward or down forward or hitting back somehow, uh, but you're actually hitting that input correctly. And then the second part of it is timing. And so, um, you know, getting the correct input is pretty self-explanatory. So if you, I was saying that you couldn't do, let's say you couldn't do a quarter circle or something like that, right? Um, which these moves are quarter circle moves for Johnny. This is quarter circle back K. Um, if you can't do that, it's because of one of the two reasons I listed. Either A, you're completely messing up the input, or B, you're mistiming it. So the first part is you're messing up the input. So if you look on the right-hand side there, and on the uh, the little example in the middle of the screen, uh, it get, this game and almost every other fighting game gives you the tools to see what you did. Um, now, the thing on the right isn't really going to tell you if you're doing it correctly in terms of your... Uh, 
timing, but it will tell you if you mess the input up. So let me just hit down a bunch of times so that way it clears the input. So if I do quarter circle back K, if you look at my input, it's it's pretty clean. Down, down, back, back, you know, K. That's a quarter circle. That's pretty clean. Um, but if I do like that, if you look at my input, you can see that I hit up, back, and K, which means I, I didn't do the input correctly, which is why the game, I got a quarter circle, but then I jumped back and hit K. That's that's what I did, so that's what the game gave me. It's not the game's fault, you just did it wrong. And that happens, that's part of fighting games. Um, and then the, uh, so, <clears throat> so basically, yeah, you, you input the wrong thing. Um, so inputting the wrong thing is very self-explanatory, just, input it correctly. Now where it gets tricky is people start to mess up the input because of the second part. You know, typically if you tell someone to do a quarter circle, most of the time they could do it if they just did it really slow. The problem is is that it's not going to come out if you do it too slow. So if you do it like this, it's not going to give it to you because it, it would be really annoying if the game did because what if I held down and then I just wanted to walk back for a bit and then throw out a kick. The game would give me a quarter circle. So you don't want the game, you, you want to, the game makes you do it fast so that it doesn't interrupt your ability to move around the screen. Like, see how my stick's making quarter circles? I'm moving around the screen and then pressing buttons freely. Um, if the game was too lenient, you'd get special moves right there, which you don't want. So the game wants you to do them pretty fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, um, oftentimes what you want to work on is work on getting the input correctly first. So if I was teaching someone to do a quarter circle, um, I would teach them to do... Um, just look at the input really slow. You can see it on the pad there or teach them really slow and then press the kick And don't worry about if it comes out just get used to this motion and then eventually it starts coming out and you speed it up And it gets better. So with fighting games execution you have to understand is like playing an instrument It is very much muscle memory and what you have to understand about muscle memory is it's normal for you to physically not be able to do something um, out the gate when you're doing uh, things in a fighting game your brain is sending messages to your body to do stuff your body has never had to do before and your body's like what that what the hell are we doing like what is this man like what are you trying to have us do and then eventually over time you will learn that um, it's just like playing an instrument I'm sure if you tried to play guitar or something like that and you never did before or you tried to play the drums you're not gonna be as fast or you're not gonna be as um, your fingers won't be as flexible or I don't know I'm, I'm not a musician but um, you get what I'm trying to say. And so um, you want to go into speeding it up later. And then um, timing is, like, is like the next part. So that kind of comes in with combos. So when you get into um, combos, that's when you get into uh, making sure that you're timing things properly. Because if you're doing the input correctly, that's good, obviously. Uh, and then if you're doing it... Um, <clears throat> you know, with enough speed, like we talked about before, then your, your inputs should always come out. But the thing is, is that um, with combos, you have to make sure that you're, um, you're timing it the way the game wants to. So with, the one thing that I always tell people is, oh my god, oh, I'm supposed to do it in the air, that's why. Um, is that when it comes to combos, you want to be okay with messing up the combo on purpose in order to um, <clears throat> messing up the combo on purpose in order to test the timing of certain things. So like for example, let me just skip to a combo with Johnny. So if I was to do something like, I don't know. Let's see, let's find a goodie. Sure, why not, let's just do this. Okay, so crouch punch, crouch K, um, 2D sweep. So remember the thing, the three things I broke it down into. So making sure that you hit the inputs correctly. So punch, so crouch, so you have to hold down. So we're gonna hold down through the whole thing because it's crouch, the two crouching attacks and a sweep, right? And then punch, kick, 2D, which is the which is sweep, right? So I'm gonna hold down through the whole thing, and all I gotta do is just press these three buttons. Now the next thing that comes, so so that's you know getting the input correct, and then the second part is timing, which can be adjusted. So don't be afraid to mess up a combo and then adjust it later. So maybe am I supposed to go this slow? Uh, uh, uh. That's clearly too slow. So I'm supposed to go a little bit faster. Oh, messed it up there. And then this is where you don't just move on. 
you know, I don't recommend just moving on to the next trial. Like, oh, I got it. But rather what you want to do is just stay in there and try and figure it out. So a couple of rules of thumb when it comes to fighting games and uh, execution is uh, obviously um, in fighting games there's a lot of canceling, which is what that was, is you're canceling your attacks. You know, this is normally your punch. He swings and then he brings his hand back. And then when he kicks, he sticks out his foot and his foot comes back to him, right? But when you're canceling, as soon as the punch hits, he goes right into the kick. He doesn't bring his fist back. So he, he hits him with a punch and then kicks immediately. You're canceling into the kick. And then when the kick hits, he doesn't bring his foot back. He goes immediately into the sweep. And so you're canceling the end animation of each of these moves. So the punch and anima end animation gets canceled into the kick, and the kick and an end animation gets canceled into the 2D. So um, if you already know that, I'm sorry, but some people don't. Um, now, um, what's important to note is, is that when it comes to canceling, a basic rule is whatever move you're canceling into, this means the move that comes next, you want to press the button for this move when the previous move connects. That's typically how it goes. So when I do this crouch punch, when I press the punch, there is travel time, even though it's hard to notice. See how it didn't hit him yet? There's travel time before it hits him, right? Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to, <coughs> whoops, I want to hit the kick button when the punch connects. I press punch and then wait for the punch to connect and then press kick when it connects. And then you press the 2D when the kick connects. And then if I wanted to um, cancel his 2D uh, into uh, something, then say I wanted to do it into his coin, right? Whoops, that was an accident. Say I wanted to cancel it into his coin, right? So what I would do is I'd press the, his 2D and right when it hits, I should be pressing the button for coin. So right when it connects, and so the what you want to do is you want to press the heavy slash uh, button for his coin. Of course, looking for a heavy slash, right? You want to press the button for that right when the 2D hits. Which means if you're pressing the button for heavy slash right when the 2D hits, then that means <clears throat> that you have to do the input for the core circle for and heavy slash before the 2D hits. Right, because the button for the quarter circle forward comes after the motion. So if I'm pressing the button for the quarter circle forward heavy slash when the D hits, that means I have to have already finished my quarter circle before it hits. So what you want to do is you, as soon as you do 2D, you want to immediately go into the quarter circle, and this is where the speed and timing comes in, and you're going to get better and better. You you might not master something like this immediately. Maybe you're already past this point, and if you are, then this video isn't for you. Um, but I do think this would help a lot of people. Uh, who are beginners at, at fighting games and Guilty Gear. Um, so when you do the 2D and it hits them, I mean, when you do the 2D before it hits them, you want to immediately go into the core circle. Now, what you can remember is, is that when you're holding down, that means you're already doing the first portion of the inputs into your quarter circle. Because remember, quarter circle is just down, down, forward, forward. That's all it is, down, down, forward, forward. By holding down, you're already taking care of the first input. So all you have to do is just do down, forward, and then Negative forward. Metal. So all you have to do is basically hit 2D and then just move it forward a little bit and press heavy slash when it hits. And same thing with any button. If I wanted to do is 5S and do his quarter circle back K, essentially what I would do is press 5S and then immediately go into the quarter circle and press K when the 5S hits, right? And that's essentially what you want to do. And as long as you understand that concept when it comes to canceling, um, is that if you whatever you want to go into, input it when the move hits. So for example, if I want to cancel an air attack into a double jump, right? Like I hit him with an air attack, and then I want to jump. I'm pressing jump when the air attack hits. Or if I want to cancel this jump attack into a special move, I'm pressing the button for the special move when it hits. And that's what, that's what you want to do. So as long as you understand that, that should help you with timing. Timing should be pretty clear on most of your combos, because a lot of Guilty Gear and a lot of anime fighting games is really just chaining and canceling. And it's just understanding the concept that when, this, when the move hits, press the button for the move you want to cancel into. And then um, the quarter circle is just, you just got to fit it in between that gap. You just got to fit it in between that gap between when you press the button uh, for the attack that you're do that you're starting with, and then um, 
fit the quarter circle in while that move is being swung out, which seems kind of fast, but that's what you want to do. And then press the attack button for the move you want to do when the first move connects. And that's all you got to do. And then all combos are is just basically stringing that together. It's just a, a string of that. So that's all it is, but all I did was exactly what I said before, is it, it was just that and like a string. But that, you might not be able to do that, and that's okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, but just when you're going through these trials, um, take into consideration the things that I said, and make sure when you get to something that you, like you get to a point in the trials that you couldn't do, that was like really, that gets really difficult, right? Um, Typically, if there's a point in the trial that you specifically can't do, oftentimes what you can do is just pr practice that specific part on its own. Um, so, so let's say I can't do this part, right? Say I'm doing, uh, 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 whoops. So, and say that I keep missing that, right? Well, what I could do instead of just starting the whole thing over is you could just do and then just practice that just practice that one part basically um so like if there's no matter where in the order that that part is just work for, focus on that part because that's where you keep dropping it and you got to figure it out am i not inputting it correctly you know watch your inputs on the side am i not inputting it correctly or am i not timing it correctly you know which of the two is it am, am i am i too slow am i too fast and when it comes to being too slow and too fast one of the last tips i'll, I'll give here to kind of close everything out on ex on basic execution tips is um so if something so typically as a rule of thumb if you're doing a combo and something didn't come out that means that you were too fast um, if it did come out and it didn't hit then that typically means that you were too slow like if it didn't combo um, so let me try and see if I can find an example of this um, so let's say I did okay so let's say for example I hit soul with this mist finder right and I have to dash close to hit him to to hit him again, right? Um, so let's say that I input the dash now. Now notice that Johnny didn't dash, right? Doesn't mean that the game is broken. Doesn't mean the game doesn't listen to you. What it means is Johnny has to finish recovering from this before he can dash, right? Um, but obviously, Soul is only going to be stunned for so long, so I can't wait forever and then dash. Oh, wait, maybe I can wait forever because Johnny's Johnny. But theoretically speaking, just to get the point across, um, they won't stay pinned to the wall forever. So at some point, you're going to have to dash or else that could happen. That probably shouldn't happen, but just, just go with it. Um, but uh, yeah, so if I hit him with it, I dash now. You can see on my inputs, uh, hold on, let me make that clear. Whoops. So you can see on my inputs, you can see a forward dash was inputted. So sometimes when you're doing a long combo and you're not really paying attention, you'll be like, oh, what, what the hell, I inputted it. That's what I'm saying, is it's a timing thing right there. So it didn't come out, why didn't it come out? It didn't come out because your character still has to finish doing what he was doing before, before he does something else. He doesn't just, he cancels at the specific windows that I explained. Um, right here with Johnny, you're not canceling, you're actually recovering from this move and then dashing up, but still. Um, the point is your character has to recover from what they did first before they can do another action. Um, unless you're canceling, but even then there's still a limit, there's still a timing. You, if you press this too fast, eventually he's gonna, he's gonna be like, what the fuck, like, you know. So you, you do have to let the character finish their animations before you cancel. You have to let him finish each, you have to let him at least do the move. Not, not finish it, but at least do the move, right? You don't want to go too fast. If you go too fast, shit stops coming out um, because you didn't let him finish. Um, and then if you go too slow, then what happens is, is that you just, um, the move does come out, but it just was very slow. So you can see from an example here, doesn't come out because I did it too fast. Does come out, but I was mad slow. Whereas the correct timing is like that. Um, this uh, this example applies to a lot of other things. I know it's not the best example, but take from it what you will. 
Um, so hopefully this guide was helpful to you. This one was definitely geared towards uh, much more uh, beginner players, which is the idea for this channel mostly. Um, but maybe it might have been a nice refresher. You found some good tips in it if you are a, a better player. Um, so yeah, like I said, use the rule of thumb 10 times in a row. They say if you can't do it 10 times in a row, then you probably shouldn't do it in a match. Sometimes that's a stretch, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I would say, you know, at least if you can get it maybe five times in a row, then you drop it. Then six times in a row, and then you drop it. Then three times in a row, then you're good to go. Uh, but 10 times in a row is, is the goal. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, definitely make sure to subscribe. I try to upload videos every Tuesday, and I try to stream as often as I can, so you'll see um, the link to my Twitch below in the description. Uh, so like, comment, and subscribe, and then also feel free to join our Discord for uh, anybody who's interested in finding people to play fighting games with and Guilty Gear and learn and improve. It's called Fighting Game University, um, so click the link in the description in order to join that. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you guys later. Bye.